What's going on everybody, I'm YouTube's PoBJN, and welcome back to Hitman 3, or Jason Statham Simulator if you will. We're heading over to England today, it's gonna be a good, good, good day, even though we're at a creepy castle. Which if Scooby-Doo has taught us anything, don't go into creepy castles. Castles have paintings with eyes that watch you, and suits armor you think to sat you, but there's a guy inside who follows you every time you turn around. <laughs> Death in the family. So basically, what happened there, because I probably skipped through most of it, because I like to keep the story a little loose so you guys can go off and explore that yourselves, but basically, bad. <laughs> oh, buddy, look at this. I'm a cowboy. Alright, kill Alexa Carlisle, mate, and then find the case files. That's your objective. Don't fuck around. This is some serious business. Alright, Jason Statham, please, don't kill me. You don't want to do this. Thornbridge Manor. Thornbridge the Manor. Family's home for countless generations. The Revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson, and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Sham funeral? Curiously, oh yeah, because she faked Carlisle her death, right? Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, there the is a murder that you're coming, and her guard detail is top notch. So, Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept. Should I just become the private detective? Is that state. what I should do? Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Oh, look at that cowboy! <laughs> oh no, you don't blend in well, 47. Hi, I'm the cowboy you ordered. Private investigator. I'm just gonna. Scooch into the bushes. The cowboy in the bushes. He's going in. He's going in. Private investigator okay. Okay. Hired by Madame Carla this morning. Uh, I'm jump. curious why he's here. Mm. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself. Forty-seven. Okay. Can I get him over here? Let's use our coins. Is he going to hear the coins? What was that noise? I don't know, mate. What was it? No, come over here. Come over here. I need to kill you. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, uh, he died of natural causes. Alright, can you guys leave, please? The cowboy would like to go investigating. Leave him alone. I need his clothes. Ah, oh, you motherfucker, how'd your body bag him? I don't have a gun, shut up! No, he's not. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, 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 cowboy out! Cowboy out! Yeah, cowboy! Okay, maybe that wasn't my best approach. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, you don't see the cowboy, shut up! Shut up, you don't see me! Fuck! Fuck! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, cowboy away! Cowboy away! Cowboy away! Ah! Uh, it wasn't me! Uh, uh, you! Come here! Stop running! I'm coming for you! <laughs> cowboy dude! I'm just an innocent cowboy man! You bastards! So as long as I get him when he turns... <gasps> I did it. Detective Popey is on the case. Hello, you are lady I am here to see. Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming on such short notice. That's all right, you know. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and oh. I need a quick resolution. Okay. Handled with absolute discretion. Results and discretion are my speciality. They sure Very are. Well. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. In my okay, there's the crime scene. A thorough examination of a potential crime scene is half the job done. Good. Thornsby will take over from here. Thornsby. Oh, Alfred. You. I get to work with Alfred. Master Bruce. We need to go up to the crime scene, sir. Would you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? Yes. Yes, I would. I prefer to get started. As you wish. If you'll follow me, sir. Thank you, Mr. Was it Ramsey? I'm gonna call you Mr. Ramsey now. That is your name. 
and you will deal with it as such. Oh, I hate mansions with creepy old pictures. Oh, I already don't like this. I need to be alone with the body. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Oh, okay. I am becoming Detective Popey. Yeah. Well, he's dead. That is my prognosis. Case closed. How you doing, sir? Good to see you. Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. You know what you could use? Bread shows time of you could use a snow globe, sir. Night. Have a snow globe. You do globe. know your poisons, 47. There you go. Oh, look at him. He's cuddling up with a snow globe. That's an adorable way to go. Okay, maybe he was poisoned through a drink? That could work? The whiskey? What, what do we got? Okay, so there's six clues to find. Okay. What's next? Uh, what else can I scan? With my little scannery do. Oh, mm, 47. I'm a selfie man. It was the lines, I tell you. What's on your computer? That always tells you what you need to know. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Oh. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. I mean, you have a point. How'd you know there was a secret door here, 47? I just walked up to it and you're like, pull this book. Whoa. It's a secret passage. Wow. This could explain Ooh. how the door We got a peephole. What are you inside? peeping on? You peeping Tom. Oh, the hallway. Hmm. Was he worried about people coming into his room? Ooh, there's a floor plan. That could be very handy. Hmm. A photocopy of the floor plans. And what's Somebody's this? been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. I think Ooh. the crime scene has more hallway. clues. 47. Okay. You think the crime scene has more clues? Okay. What is hidden in the wardrobe? It's me. <laughs> it's me, Al Gore. Oh, what's this? This is the suicide note. Ooh. Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. Okay. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. Okay. Wait, what's the what's the note say? That's what I'm interested in. Can we read it? No. Oh. I am haunted by horrible past choices, and they're all consuming consequences. Alexa was the raft keeping me afloat. Without her, I cannot go on. Goodbye. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. I think so Maybe too. It's I'll time be honest. To see the butler. I'm oh, curious about where's my Ramsey boy? Ramsley. Come here, Ramsley. Uh, you, sir, have you seen my butler? Nope. Oh, are you guys hitting on each other? Oh, security guard, man. Nice. You and the maid, huh? You. I see. I saw you. I saw you. Ah, Ramsley. Good to see you. Mr. Fernsby. I've oh, Fernsby. I'm sorry. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. Well, oh, Ramsley, you're starting to get suspicious. <laughs> May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? You. Or perhaps Patrick, you come prefer here. searching the manor for clues first. Can you first? tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, shit, it's that sneaky butler, isn't it? He ratted me out. Hey, you leave Ramsley alone. He's a great man. Yeah, give us some privacy. Don't tell mother. Okay. Why can't you shitting on Ramsley, by the way, and he's standing like two feet away? <laughs> I know I'm meant to be what killing this uh, Alexa chick, but I'm kind of interested in the murder mystery aspect. This is really cool for a Hitman game. Yeah, keep it real. Yeah, man. Keep it real. Mahala, dude. This is Emma and Gregory's room. 
Okay. Seems like the place to be. Is there a way over there? There is. Hmm. I need him back inside, though. I wonder what that was, man. You should go check it. Okay. Well, no one's seeing me so far, so that's good. Up we go. Into their quarters. Alright. Now, let's poke around. Hmm. Safe is empty. Oh, walking cane, yes. Oh, a letter from Emma's mother. Let's pick that up. Now, this is interesting, 47. Yeah. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Alexa's late older brother, Montgomery. Ooh. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. Wow. The plot thickens. The plot thickens indeed, my darling. My, my, the plot like my gravy thicken. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this guy. I, I hope they get together. Look at him. He's great. He's great. Okay, so I think I've just got to keep going into everyone's rooms, to be honest. Scuttle around 47. Scuttle around, see what you can find. What do we got, Rebecca? What's on your computer? That's where you find everyone's dirty secrets. I can see from the log. That Rebecca was in a conference call from okay. 9 p.m. Okay, so she's clear. She's clear. What's on this third level, though? That's what I'm interested in. What is up on level three? No hard feelings, sir, but you need to leave. All right. I'm, I'm the de I'm the detective, sir. How dare you? I'm taking a picture of you for later. Yeah. Now you feel stupid. <laughs> All right. Where are the other rooms that I haven't explored? Who are, who are, whose bedroom haven't I gone and ransacked yet? Whose room was this? Oh, sorry. My apologies. Aaron Ford Jr. calling from Morgan Yates and Cohen. Refers from the Carlisle account HTC Depot number five. Well? Well? Well, what did you find? Uh. Yates better well have a damn good reason for not being here in person. Christ. Hmm. Is there a room that I can get into over here? Oh, there is. Uh, hey, dude. Can you go away, sir, please? Ooh, there's a dog painting. What's behind this? Oh, God, everyone's got secret passages. Good God. What are you peeping on? The ba The bathroom? You have issues. And what's behind peephole number two? <gasps> oh, hello. Could send like you is beyond me. Damn. What do we got? What do we got? Should I just kill him? Wait, what's here? What's here? Oh fuck. Uh my my apologies. This area is off limits. Please my my apologies. One more time, so help me. I was I was an accident. Mm, I did not mean not to a thin shit. Oh. Yeah, come on in here. Come on. Really? Come on! I'm walking in. Really? You're not gonna. Hey. Fuck. No. There we go. There we go. Crime noticed! Who noticed? Who? Okay, no one noticed. Okay, 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 okay. Dump you in here. 
And you dump you in here as well. Grab my knife. You call that a knife? This is a knife. Ooh, ooh, down I go. What were you doing? Here we go. Let's investigate his computer. This all confirms that Arthur Edwards stole everything from Madame Carlyle. Ooh. Perhaps you should let her know how bad it is, 47. There's got to be... Oh, shoes. Here we go. Shoes scanned. Shoes and footprints found in Emma and Gregory's room. Hmm. What can I take a picture of? There's a picture icon in here. So what can I picture? Oh, hello. What's this? What was that? Edward speech. Uh, no, uh, the handwriting does not match. Okay, so Edward's off the hook too. Good to know, good to know. Okay, apparently there's a photo thing out here. Where? Oh, footprints. Okay. Shoes and footprints found in Emma's room match the prints out here. Ooh, the plot thickens. That is the door to Mr. Fernsby's office. Ooh, okay. What kind of juicy details can we get from here? But he, he was upset. <gasps> There's a crowbar. His sister was dead. Okay. Now I can break into a uh, to Fumbra's room. Mr. Ramsley, as I go him. All right, Butler, what are you hiding? Let's have a look. What are you hiding? We got a West. What was the West? Handwriting does not match Zachary's suicide note. God damn. Okay. What else can we find? What else? Oh, what's this? The mansion master key. Hell yes. Lethal poison. Hmm. But not the poison used to kill Zachary. Of course, Madame Carlyle doesn't know that. Are you considering to frame the butler, 47? Hmm. Tempting. But now that I've got the master key, I should go in and explore that greenhouse. I think that's, uh, we should do that. Alright, I think it's greenhouse time, lads. Oh, there's something over here I can, uh, take a photo of. Hang on, what do we got, what do we got? Uh, where's my camera? There's a book. There's a book. What do we got? This is a table showing mm. lethal dosages for the poison used to kill Zachary. Something is circled. There we go. Female, age 65 to 79, 60 to 64 kilograms. Hmm. I'd say Madame Carlyle is next in line for a poisoning. All right. I think I'm just going to tell the bot where I'm done. I think that's, uh, I think our investigation is coming to a close. Very well, Mr. Fernsby. Thank you, Mr. Fernsby. Mr. Whitmer, you have enough evidence to present your case for Madame Carlyle? No, not yet. Come and see me when you do. Later. A keychain pendant for the greenhouse. What's that doing in Emma and Gregory's room, I wonder? And why is the key missing? You have uncovered enough evidence to tell Madame Carlyle hmm. that Emma is the murderer. All right. Write the detective 47. Thank you. I'm impressed. Ah, oh, well. I suggest you go tell Mr. Fernsby. Let's do it. All right, the investigation is coming to a close. All right, you just got to give yourself a pep talk. Hey, 47. Hey, you're the man. You do, hey, look at me. You're the man. You're the man. All right. Mr. Ramsley, where's my butler? Where is Ramsley? Ramsley, good to see you. I'm ready to present Let's my do conclusion it. to Madame Carlyle. 
Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Ramsley, I was concerned. I thought it was going to be you. I really did, so... I'm glad to say that Ramsley is innocent. <gasps> do I get to go on to the majestic third floor? Oh! Yes! So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. I have. Please, go ahead. Emma. Your niece, Emma Carlyle, murdered your brother, Zachary. My niece? Emma is not my niece. She's my daughter-in-law. And your mm. niece. Emma is the illegitimate child of your late older brother, Montgomery. Yep. Who you and Zachary killed 46 years ago. That's preposterous. Oh, you really? Me to find out what happened to Zachary. Would you rather not know? Yeah, exactly. No, go on. I found a letter from Emmer's mother, Jane, who was the fiance of your older brother at the time of his death. Oh, I got you. I got you. She witnessed how you and Zachary pushed him off the balcony. She believed. Oh, she's getting nervous. She's nervously pacing. Oh, you got her up on the ropes there, 47. Her, her unborn child. And she raised Emmer to reclaim what she lost. Wow, well, there we go. There we go. Get revenge and secure the Carlisle Empire for her bloodline generations to come. Emma is the daughter Check of Montgomery me. and that local girl, Jane. She is. Well, the girl got in wrong. I didn't steal anything. I did what was necessary to protect the future of the Carlisles. Oh. Montgomery wasn't cut out to take over from father. All heart and no balls. Emma used the funeral gathering to speed up her installment as the lady of the house, seizing the opportunity to stage Zachary's suicide. She did her homework. And I've done my homework. I've done some class action investigating right here. Old floor plans from Thornbridge Manor to gain access to his room through a secret passage. That scheming bitch. More Ooh. than you think. Ooh. Using the B word. That she will try to poison you next. Well, I'll have to take care of that. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. You have not disappointed. That's I all right. I you I would reward you generously if you solved the case. So, what do you suggest? Hmm. The case files. I want the file you have on Arthur Edwards. Edwards, the constant. But how do you... Oh, I see. I expected you might show up. But to kill me, not help me. Yeah. But I've been wrong on so many things lately, so why not this one? I will give you the file on Edwards, you've earned Thank it. you. Okay. Don't suppose I could convince you to deal with my daughter-in-law now you're here. I would like Damn. to see her dead. Oh, so she knows that I'm 47. Oh, what a shame. So she she figured it out straight I'll away. I'll see to it some other way then. Hmm. Is she gonna get me the file? Oh, she's getting me the files. The file you want is in the safe. God, I hope you get it. Hello, to sir. Him, her. Hello, sirs. I need some privacy. Thank you. That's Good right. work, forty-seven. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. Well, whoops a days. Oh no, she she fell. Mission oh, complete. lads, she fell. Well, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Alright, very nice. That was a very successful mission. That was actually very interesting as well. The whodunit aspect. That I don't think they've ever done that for, for Hitman. So that was actually really, really interesting to go and do. Ramsley, you've been such a great assistant. I thank you, Mr. Ramsley, for being such a great little assistant. You're the best. That was such a cool mission. I'm surprised. I didn't think they would do a who's done it. Ah, uh, look at me leaving on my mind bike like a bad ass. Wait. Only three out of five? Boo. 
And that is going to do it for another episode of Hitman 3, man. That was a really, really cool case. I love the whole who's done it and you got to investigate everything kind of aspect of it. That was actually really cool and really fun. Good God, we are like over an hour and a half into this recording though. I don't know how long this is going to be when I condense it all, but um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as I did because it was just dumb fun and I love it. I'm here for it. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, don't forget to favorite it, don't forget to subscribe if you have not already guys, helps me out a lot, there are links to social medias in the description box, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. I've